Israel celebrates Land Grab Day. Palestine commemorates Land Day. March 30th. On this date in 1976, six Palestinian citizens of Israel are killed by Israeli police in the first major organized Palestinian collective response to Israel's 28-year colonization and murder spree. Since then, Palestinians have commemorated March 30th as Land Day, not just to remember all those Israel has slaughtered, but to ponder new ways of combating their erasure. I have a few ideas, but most Palestinians are too kind to think of these, and they definitely wouldn't implement them. Land Day protests on this date in 2018 kicked off the Great March of Return Demonstration Series in Gaza, set to take place each Friday through mid-May but actually continued through mid-December of 2019. After some kids threw rocks at them, the cowardly Israeli army killed 17 Palestinians and wounded 2,400. Of those killed on that day, one was a farmer who was acting suspiciously near the border, another a young man running away from the fence holding a tire. He was shot in the back and accused of being Hamas by the IDF. Like all IDF claims, this one too is bullshit. It's been estimated that about 223 Palestinians lost their lives to Israeli military and police during these demonstrations. But that info is sketchy because some of it comes from the IDF itself. The numbers are probably higher. What isn't in dispute is the fact that Palestinians commemorate Land Day on March 30th, but Israel's land-grabbing ass celebrates its murderous thievery every day. Hashtag, fuck that Zionist hellhole. <laughs>